So in this video, we're going to show you the port forwarding and the address reservation page in your Arden node. Now, when you first go to your Arden node, you'll come to this dash page here. And in order to get to any of the setup, we just go to setup and you'll have to enter your username and password, whatever you set that up for. And then you'll land on this page. So this is your main settings page. And right up here at the top, next to basic setup, we'll click port forwarding DHCP and services. So you'll see several things here. Now you'll see that I have some stuff set up already. And over here on the left, you'll have the DHCP address reservations. So what this is, is anytime this MAC address is showing up, it's always going to give it this IP. It's not going to give it to any other device. It's reserving it for that. So um, right now we only have one IP available because we're set up to only have five IPs total available in our range of IPs. Um, if you need to change this, you can go to a 13 IPs as well or a one IP. So right here under this LAN, you can choose uh, how many IPs you're going to need for that particular node and uh, that will determine how many you have available to actually dedicate to different devices that you have. Um, if you do change this, it you will see here that it actually changes your IP address as well as your net mask. Uh, your net mask is what actually determines how many IPs you are allowed based on that scheme. I'll post a link for a little chart that kind of gives you that, that we can learn a little, little bit about net masks. That's going to be a completely different video if we do one on that because it can get a little complicated real quick with all the different numbers and everything going on there. So we'll go back to the port forwarding. So you'll see that I have reserved several of these. I can choose a new one here. I can either choose one from this drop down and enter the name uh, manually like uh, camera 2 and then I over here I would enter a MAC address which I'm just kinda of making this up right now or I can come down here and I can see alright well this one's already using that IP so I can click add and it'll add that entry up here automatically based off of what it's already got out there alright so we added that and then we can, we'll have to save changes. So save changes says the configuration has not been saved. Um, so I got to clear it out here. So you got to make sure that if you do anything here and then you add it here, you want to make sure that you've set this back to IP addresses so it's, it's cleared out. So we can save the changes. And there are changes are saved. Now the other thing you can do is you'll see advertise services. What this does is when someone's uh, on the mesh status page and they see your node, this is what gives them a link to the different devices you have on your network, whether it be a server or a web page or a camera or anything. So what we can do is we'll name it and we can name this uh, test service because we'll, uh, this name will be important later. And then uh, check the checkbox for a link. If you don't check this checkbox, it'll just be, show up as text and there will be no link. Um, typically HTTP, but if uh, you're using a different protocol, you can put that there. Um, and then you can choose which one of the devices that you saved over on your left side of the screen that you want it to go to. So we can just select Arden PC, which is just a computer I have hooked up to it up to the node and then you can choose what port um, There's nothing on this PC right now so it's not really gonna matter um, and then you can choose a subdirectory if needed so like up here you'll see the mesh chat the mesh chat is located on a Raspberry Pi at the at the subdirectory mesh chat versus this one here which is just a website right on the Raspberry Pi which is running a web server so there's two different services on the same device right there. So, so we'll set this one up just for uh, testing purposes and then uh, show you what it'll show up like on the uh, mesh status page. 
So we'll have to click add here. You'll see it move up. And then we can click save changes. Now the, the last thing you'll see on here is port forwarding. Um, port forwarding is anything that's coming in over the WAN. If you want to access things on your network or on your node from your home network, this is what you would do. You would take these ports and port forward them to your device. Any device that you've uh, reserved an address for and then you can forward it to a port. So if you have a specific port up here for different devices or different, uh, you know, uses, so like maybe certain cameras may be using a port for an RSTP feed or something like that, you can uh, enter that down here. So um, in some cases I've done a double port forward, so I got a port forward on the inside of my on my node and then I have a port forward on my router at home so I can be out side of my network on the public internet get to that port on my home router and it'll forward it through all the way to the camera or the web page or whatever I want to get to so um, gets a couple layers deep but it it works so so now that we've saved this we'll go out to the basic setup uh, correction we'll go to the node status and then click mesh status and then right here you'll see this is the entry we entered as a service so Arden PC dot local dot mesh and then here's the link to go uh, that is uh, how you set up a service